Hi all. So in the last tutorial, we talked about how to create the user. We created a user Madhavi one. You must have tried it by now. Uh, I would suggest you not to work in system user because the thing is really uh, the softwares or the files, sorry, the files related to uh, the working of Oracle 10G are all stored or all uh, metadata or the various important data related to Oracle 10 G uh, are is stored in system. So don't work on system. Do create your user and uh, try to execute it. So now we have seen this. If suppose I want to create one more table, I can yes, I can create it. No, not a problem at all. So create table. I'll say employee. Okay. I can say EMPNO. Okay. Number three. Not necessarily always I'll give number three. I can give number four also because up to four digits I can give the meaning I had told you last time. And then I can have e name where I can say 15. Fine. I want to give uh, now the birth date. See, you can't give the age. Obviously, you can give it. It is not going to stop it. Uh, stop the oracle is not going to stop you for, from giving it. But age can't be given by any programmer because the thing is age is a static value if suppose i enter the age as 15 today next year it will be 15 only better to give the birth date so i can give here birth date and the data type is the date okay so in this manner i can give employee number e name and birth date table is created i want to insert the records so we have not learned how to insert the record before that, I'll let you know how to find out what all tables are there. In my SQL, it was show tables. Okay. Here in Oracle Dengi, there is select start from tab. You can see how many tables are there. One is employee, other is student. Now, if I want to see what is the structure of employee, what all things are there, I can see DESC employee. DESC is describe. Okay. And DESC uh, student. Okay, now if I want to insert the record, they are the columns, means the headings on the top. Okay, but if I say select star from student, what is the meaning? Here, get the records from student table, but there are no records yet. I didn't enter. Okay, so it is giving me no rows selected. How to insert the rows then? It is possible insert into student values. Okay, this is syntax. Insert is the statement like uh, select or create. Okay, select is used for showing the data. Insert is used for inserting the data. Create is used for creating the table. Okay, it is as simple as that. That's why it is known as SQL English like language. So, insert into student values. Values is very important. This, this word, this term has to come. Okay, so. What is the student table? Roll number and name. How many columns are there? Two. So how many rec how many values would be there? Only two. Okay. How many records you want to enter? As many as. Okay. So one first record, then second record, then third record, horizontally. So roll number one, name. Suppose I enter A. That's all. Record is inserted. Now again, how it was there in the MySQL. I will press the up arrow key and I can see the contents by using select star from student. The meaning of select star from is uh, show all the records. Star is all. Okay. From student table, it is showing me one record is there. Have I entered another record? No, not yet. So I can enter here another record by giving here by making the changes say b can you see here the number of records can be entered one record second record how many how many columns are there one column horizontal uh, vertically and second column okay so this is your own number this name this is the first record this is the second record horizontally okay so if suppose I want to show it like this, it would be shown. If I want to show the data now, so in other manner, so select star from student where, where is the clause? 
how values clause we learned in the same manner there is a where clause which is showing select star from star from student show all the records where roll number equal to 1 okay what is the condition here roll number equal to 1 this is the this is known as the relational operator roll number equal to 1 wherever the roll number equal to 1 is present show that record so this is select now indirectly we talked about actually ddl ddl we talked about dql we talked about dml okay what was ddl ddl was our create create statement okay dml was our insert statement okay and dql was our select statement so we started learning the sub components of sql and they are nothing but ddl dql dml dcl tcl out of that dcl we have already learned you all must be remembering so they are all my dcl statements okay creating user granting privileges creating session is nothing but dcl but i will talk about this dcl later Thank you very much. Stay tuned. We are going to talk about the more uh, rather various relational operators conditions with respect to relational operators and logical operators in the next session. Stay tuned. Thank you.